Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be reviewing a product, so I'm going to jump right into it. I will be reviewing the Dior Skin Air Nude Luminizer. So I purchased this quite a while ago and a little, 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 little. And a lot of the time I tend to not use a product for a while because I always want to review it but I don't have time to review it when I first buy it. So it's kind of just left there, not forgotten about of course, but it has just been sitting down it with my makeup and I thought that today would be a perfect time because I've got a little bit of time up my sleeve so I thought that I'd review this highlighter for you and you guys should know, well you would know already that I'm a fiend, like a, I'm a highlighter fiend, I love them, I'm obsessed, my collection is ginormous so I will be doing a highlighter collection for you guys and also picking some of my favourites because I don't really have many favourites and I also have nails so I look very girly right now. So this highlighter retails for 95 Australian dollars, which is about 56 US, which is so expensive. This is the most expensive highlighter that I have purchased and I couldn't help myself because I've been wanting to try this for so long. So I managed to snag this and I got the shade 001 and that is the shade Nude Glow. So there are four shades of this. And I picked up one. I want to get number three because that's Golden Glow and I love my gold. So let me open this up for you because it's bougie AF. Open it up and it comes like this. So you have the compact right here in like this velvet felt case. And then you've got a little kabuki brush here. So this is to highlight with. It is quite a dense brush. So I'm not sure how that would go with applying the highlighter. But, I mean, it could work. The highlighter itself, it's actually quite heavy, so it has some weight to it. But wait, there's more. It also comes with the cutest thing ever. Oh my god, ready? It's a little pouch. So you can put your highlighter in here and keep it nice and safe. And it's like super bougie. <gasps> So I am obsessed with that pouch. It feels so soft. It's just elegant and sexy and expensive. So hence, this is quite a lot of money. So when you open it up, the highlighter comes with a little slip as per usual. And then this is what you get. So it is stunning. I kind of want to get a second one just so the packaging, like you can still see the writing <laughs> because I'm a freak like that. But it is incredible and ready. It is the most satisfying thing to know that your highlighter is safe and it's not just gonna smash. And it's just the strongest magnetic. Oh. So I'm going to read to you guys the description of the highlighter and what it is said to do. So I'm on the Sephora.com website because Maya didn't have a description of it really. So what it is, it says a light and airy highlighting powder with a highly concentrated formula and illuminating pigments. Mm -hmm. What it does. With its virtually imperceptible texture, Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer reveals a glowing skin for a radiantly luminous complexion. The universal shade can be adapted to any skin tone. And it comes with a mini kabuki brush. Applied in gentle touches, the powder highlights areas of the face to catch and reflect light which is basically defining highlighting. <laughs> so, it does have a 4.7 out of 5 stars on the Sephora.com website. And the first shade is 001, then 002, 003, 004. So depending on what tone, number two is more pink, number three is more gold, and number four is the bronzier shade. So those for like really deep, dark complexion that will look stunning on. But I'm going to try 001 today for you guys. So I'm going to do, I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand so we can get a bit of an eye. I really want to buy another one now. <laughs> so I'm going to just do one, two, three. Ooh, that's pretty. It's very like pearlescent. And then... Let's drown my face. I don't have. Okay. Like my Anastasia Nicole Greer review, I do use custom enhanced drops from Cover FX, so that's why I do have a tiny bit of a glow 
I do have a lot of glowy products because my skin's very dry and I want to hydrate it. So that's why I'm looking glowy, but I have no actual powder highlight on. So I'm going to apply the highlighter with my Morphe M505 brush. I've stuck to using like more eyeshadow brushes lately because I just feel like I want a smaller area to target the highlighted area. So I'm going to do like in my other video, one half of my face dry, one half of my face wet and see if there's any change in pigment, metallic effects, any of that good stuff. So I'm going to start off with the dry side and I'm just going to swirl my brush around. Okay, looks pretty coated. Oh. And then I might zoom you guys in if you like so you can see a little bit better. And Ooh, that's pretty. Not as intense right off the bat, but like any product, you kind of have to dig off the first layer. But it's not emphasizing, because I do have some bumps in this region as well. It's not emphasizing those at all, which is always a good thing. <laughs> okay, that in the camera. And then I always go around my brow and up on my forehead. Okay, that's, <laughs> that looks ridiculous. And then I'll just do a little bit on my nose and the bridge. And then I just hit in between because I'm, I like to be glowing. I like to feel like I'm seeing from outer space. I want all that. All oh, that. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Did someone say highlighter challenge? <laughs> okay, that looks beautiful. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to spray my face with Fix Plus on this side. And. Swirly, swirly, swirl, and I'm gonna spray my brush once. So. Okay, any finish change? It does look a little bit more frosty when it, when you do wet it. <laughs> That's stunning. I'm so dark right now as well, so I'm surprised that it does suit my color but like it said it is a universal shade i am going to do my brow bone because i always do my brow bone highlight and i can't find my brush and then just in my inner corners a little bit okay i'm gonna zoom you guys back out so you can see from a distance so End result, I freaking love the finish. Like I said, it doesn't emphasize any of my bumps. It's got a very smooth texture. You can tell that it is very finely milled, which is amazing for highlights. Because if you've got sex texture, <laughs> if you've got texture, if you've got bumps, if you've got acne, if you've got any areas that you don't want to emphasize, this highlighter is literally making them look even smoother, if that makes sense. It's a poreless highlighting powder if that has ever existed before I don't know but I'm obsessed with how this looks this color against my deep skin tone at the moment looks incredible but I'm so happy with this formula the look of everything the question is do I think it is worth it if you're spending 56 US or 95 Australian dollars if you've got the money definitely invest in it because it is stunning I'm not sure if there will be dupes out there. I can always go on a bit of a hunt and see if I've got anything in my collection that could be similar, but obviously won't be the exact same. But I mean, if you're a makeup junkie and you love everything, like you love makeup, you love your highlighters, you're obsessed and you're much like myself, then do it. If you don't have the money, maybe pop it on a Christmas list for your birthday, maybe get some vouchers or something, that way you can use it to go towards it. Because if you don't have money to invest in it, then there's no point on being poor with a highlighter. But I would do that myself. I give this highlighter, honestly give it a 10 out of 10. The packaging, first of all, is incredible. 
It feels amazing, it's heavy, it's durable, the magnetic, oh, I love that. The felt case, incredible. This is such a cute idea. That way if you're putting it in your handbag, you know it's not gonna get scratched, especially because it's such like a, oh, I can't describe it. It just feels so freaking luxurious. So I love the pouch idea, that is amazing. The brush I didn't try because I did want to just target the areas where I wanted to, but I will give this a go down the track to see how I like it. If it's not for highlighter, I'd use it for like a blush or something like that. So this would definitely go to good use. I mean, it's the or. What do you mean? So I hope you guys did like this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also jump down in the comments for me and let me know what your favorite highlighter is and why. I would love to know. I love expanding my collection. I love trying new products. So if you have a favorite highlighter, check it down below. That way everyone can have a little bit of a look at it. We can see what others like, which is awesome. So I'll leave it here for today, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.